Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and I know that I already made a video talking about what I believe was the worst weapon in Zombies, hence the title, Worst Weapon in Zombies 2. And that weapon was the Springfield, that weapon was the worst, and might actually still be worse than the weapon that we're going to talk about today, but today we're here to talk about what the worst weapon in Cold War Zombies is. Now, the worst weapon in Cold War Zombies, I believe, is the M82. This thing is trash like it's so bad it reminds me of like the modern warfare 2 and black ops 2 days with the barrett 50 cal like you'd expect this thing to be good because it's a 50 caliber sniper rifle meant to take out tanks man tanks and i mean the thing that's really kind of perturbing about this is that in world at war the ptrs which was also an anti-tank weapon in real life is actually pretty dang good you can take out huge lines of zombies and it just packs a huge punch with each shot, but the M82 does not do that. It didn't do that in Black Ops 2 Zombies when you pack a punch it. It doesn't do it here in Cold War. And in fact, if you start it out as, well, your starting weapon, it it just craps out at round six, man. Like, it's not a one-shot kill to the body on round one. It stops being a one-shot headshot kill on round six. And here you can see me use it against a Megaton, and uh, it's blue rarity now, I have the scrap to upgrade it, and also I pack punched it once, and it still just takes a long time to take out the Megaton. I mean, to be honest, I could have hit my shots a lot better, but it's just not a great weapon. The Tundra and the Pellington, both of which I've used and used extensively, are just much, much better, man. Like. Here's some footage of me using the M82, upgraded some more times at the ultimate rarity because I wanted to get a strong rarity of it and thankfully I got it for the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, but it's just still not it. It's bad, it's <laughs> clunky, has a slow fire rate, has a slow ADS time. Like, I mean, if one of those things were different to offset its poor damage, maybe that would make a difference, because then maybe it could see life as kind of like a slightly slower, stronger tactical rifle. But sadly, it does not meet that mark whatsoever. I'd much rather use the Type 63, the M14, or, you know, any other weapon than this thing. I'd rather use the uh, Tundra, and I'd definitely rather use the Pellington compared to this piece of garbage. So... Really, that's. I just wanted to make a short video today to kind of rant about why this weapon is the worst weapon in Zombies. It's weak, has a long reload time, small clip, has a small max ammo, by the way, which is really upsetting because, like, you'd think that it would have more stock ammo, but no, it's only 5 in the magazine and 30 in reserve. You're gonna have to buy ammo, and I gotta say, it's probably the first time in this whole game where I've had to buy ammo again. Uh, at least for a starting weapon, and it's really upsetting. It's just, it, it should be better, and I hope they update, you know, they make a patch later where it's stronger and it does more damage, because a 50 caliber sniper rifle, man, something used to take out tanks, mind you, tanks, should just be so much better, and this weapon is not. But anyway, I just wanted to rant about how bad this weapon was, because I've been using it the past couple days when I've played zombies, so... I just wanted to rant about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you hate the M82 like I do, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment on what you think is the worst weapon in zombies if you don't think this weapon is. And also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more rants and cringe. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day if I can talk.